Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about creativity tests. Creativity tests can be used to assess the qualities and abilities that constitute creativity. These tests evaluate mental abilities in ways that are different from conventional intelligence tests. Persons with the highest scores on creativity tests do not necessarily have the highest IQ. Most creativity tests that we use today are based partially on the theory of creativity evolved by J.P. Guilford in the 1950s. Creativity tests are typically divided into four main components. They are divergent thinking, convergent thinking, artistic assessments and self-assessments. Guilford said that the ability to think of more than one solution to a problem lay at the core of creativity. He called this process as divergent thinking. Guilford identified three components of divergent thinking. Fluency is the ability to quickly find multiple solutions to a problem. Flexibility is being able to simultaneously consider a variety of alternatives. And originality refers to ideas that differ from those of other people. Some of the tests of this type are Guilford's Alternative Uses Task, which was developed in 1967, in which examinees are asked to list as many possible uses for a common household item, such as a brick, a paper clip, or a newspaper. The next is Valley's and Cogan's Assessment of Creativity, which was Developed in 1965, in which examinees are asked to come up with many possible items that contain a specific component such as with wheels, round things or things that make noise. The next is the Torrance Tests of Creative Thinking is a test of creativity built on J.P. Guilford's work and was created by Ellis Paul Torrance. This one has an additional component known as elaboration, which is the amount of detail in the responses. This test is appropriate at all levels and it uses three picture-based exercises to assess five mental characteristics, which are fluency, elaboration, originality, resistance to premature closure, and abstractness of titles. The next is the convergent thinking, which is the reverse process of divergent thinking. That is, it has the tendency to narrow all options to a single solution. Creativity convergent thinking often requires taking a novel approach to the problem, seeing the problem from a different perspective or making a unique association between parts of the problem. These solutions are scored either correct or incorrect. Some of the tests of this type of creativity are Remote Association Task developed by Mednick in 1962 presents the examinees with three words and are asked to come up with the word that associates the other three together. The next is the Insight Problem. An Insight Problem is a problem that requires the examinee to shift his or her perspective and view the problem in a novel way in order to achieve the solution. There are several types of insight problems. The three prominent types are verbal, mathematical and spatial. The next type of creativity test is the artistic assessment. Artistic assessments are the evaluation of an artistic product. For example, a painting, a story, poem, musical composition, collage, drawing, and so on. Evaluations are typically done by two or more judges that must be in near agreement on the creativity of the product. The Baron Welch Art Scale, which is a Freudian-based assessment, in which the examinee is asked to draw images. The images are then scored on scales 
that contain primary processes such as ego functioning and libidinal drives such as symbolization and substitution. The scales also contains personal style and social attitudes. The next type of creativity tests are self-assessments. Self-assessments are a person's response to the amount of creativity that they personally feel they exhibit. Some of the self-assessment tests are the Catena Torrance Creativity Perception Inventory, which is a self-report measure of creativity. It comprises of two sub-tests. The first is something about myself, which measures artistic inclination, intelligence, individuality, sensitivity, initiative, and self-strength. The next is what kind of person are you, which measures imagination, appeal to authority, self-confidence, inquisitiveness, and awareness of others. The next self-assessment test is how do you think that assess traits such as independence, humor, risk-taking behavior, playfulness, creative interests, etc. The next is the things done on your own, which is a behavioral assessment of creativity that requires the respondent to state how many times he or she has engaged in a task outside of school. There are four areas of creativity. They are language arts, science, social studies, and art. The creative behavior inventory is a self-reported checklist of creative behaviors and activities that the respondent has previously engaged or participated in. The Runco Ideational Scale is a self-report measure of creativity tapping into ideas regarding creativity. The Creativity Attitude Survey is a creativity measure for children in grades 4 to 6. It assesses imagination, interest in art and writing, desire of novelty, and attraction to abstract and magical. The statement of past creative activities is a behavioral assessment of creativity that requires the respondent to list any activities they have engaged in that are creative. The Neo Personality Inventory that is revised is a 240 item personality test that provides information on five key components. They are neuroticism, extraversion or introversion, openness to experience, agreeableness, and consciousness. The openness component is employed to evaluate creativity. The openness component of the NEO consists 45 items comprised of questions dealing with fantasy, aesthetics, feelings, actions, ideas, and values. The next is the Gox Personality Scale which is a self-assessment for creativity on personality characteristics in which the test taker is required to check off characteristics that apply to him or her. In the next video, let's talk about neuropsychological tests. Please share these videos with everyone who are preparing for this exam. And please subscribe. Thank you.